What's up everyone, it's Matt Wasik here. Welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna to be getting into a little bit of the insight in what it's like to actually own a digital market agency. I'm also gonna be getting into how I grew my agency from being stuck at $6,000 a month for basically five months, or actually close to six months, and how I grew it to over $18,000 a month in just the past two and a half months, right about 76 days. So that's what we're gonna be getting into and we're gonna hop into my computer here and I'm gonna basically be showing you guys how I did it and how you can do similar. Okay guys, welcome into my computer. So I'm gonna be breaking down the basically three-step process that I've been using to help get my business from being stuck, my agency that was stuck at $6,200 at monthly recurring revenue and basically being stuck there. Actually, I was at 8K for a little bit because I had a client that was running ads and then they turned the ads off. And so that was actually kind of devastating to see my revenue go down. And then I was stuck there for like four months. And it was just really frustrating because I was, I'm someone who wants to be constantly growing. I wanna be adding new revenue, new monthly recurring revenue every single month and have very, very, very low churn, ideally none, and keep as many clients on board as I possibly can for as long as I possibly can. And so that's what I'm gonna explain in this video, show you guys the strategy of how I went from being stuck there until for about six months, and then I've grown to just over $18,000 a month of recurring revenue in a period of about two and a half months. And it's just been crazy, it's been absolutely crazy. And the first thing I gotta say is that it came from just being focused. All of last year, 2021, the only thing I focused on was my agency and just getting really, really good at what we do. And that's primarily website, SEO, and review syndication for Google reviews. And so dialing in that program, making sure the SEO and everything is absolutely the best that it possibly can and help my clients win. And that really helps some clients absolutely grow their business to new heights. I mean, one forex their business from 270 to over a million or close to that. And so that's the biggest thing to take away is that this takes focus to do this, is not a push button and your computer is going to just start printing money. Nothing like that happens. Nothing like that exists. And if it did, you would probably go broke anyways, because you don't know how much work it takes to achieve that kind of money coming in anyways. And so real quick, I just want to show you the numbers my agency is producing. Again, I own a digital marketing agency that actually helps offline companies, landscape contractors, landscape marketing pros is my company currently doing as of two days ago, just under 17,000 bucks a month. I signed another one yesterday for 1500 a month. And so if we come back here to the homepage, you can see the payments come in right there. Stripe usually takes a day or two to reflect new recurring revenue. And so that is why that's still at 16. I just do that because I believe in being transparent and I want to make you guys aware that oftentimes these fake gurus, they're showing you course sales numbers or they're showing you YouTube ad revenue or affiliate offer numbers. It's not the actual agency that they are discussing in their video. And sometimes even agencies use kind of loosely where their entire business is just teaching business owners, agency owners, and they're charging five or 10 grand for their coaching program and that's how they got the numbers. And so just be aware of that going into it. If you're someone who wants to learn how to build a digital marketing agency that focuses on home services or, or even maybe even some of the medical niches, law practices like that. That's what I share here on my channel is kind of just taking you guys along the journey of what I'm doing in my business and it seems to be working pretty well. So subscribe if you're not already and hit the bell for notifications so you know when all the newest content comes live here on my channel because I'm gonna be sharing a lot of cool stuff with you guys over the coming months. I have a lot of cool ideas for videos that I think would be definitely beneficial to you. Three strategies that I've been using are two are inbound and one is retargeting. And so basically what I mean by that is clients coming to my agency. I'm not doing cold emailing, cold calling, or cold messaging on social. I'm not doing any of that crap. It sucks. It's so miserable. And you're basically trying to break down a brick wall and it's just so difficult to do. And yes, sometimes if you're just getting started, you do what you gotta do, but I had very, very little success with it. I created a YouTube channel for my agency, which initially started off as an info product brand because I wanted to sell a digital program that I had for building a landscaping business because I had a landscaping company prior to that. And then I realized at that time I could not sell at all. And so I've been able to learn how to sell over the past, really the past six months, I've been gotten a whole lot better at it. But I basically transitioned that channel to my agency. And so that's what brings in the highest interest prospects out there because of the fact that People, if they want to learn something, they're going to go to YouTube. It's so much more interactive than reading a blog. And that's not to say blog posts and stuff aren't beneficial. It's definitely beneficial to the SEO side of things, especially if you have a video attached to it. But when a prospect comes in and says that, and I ask them in the strategy session, because I asked at the very beginning, hey, how'd you find us? They say, oh, I watched your YouTube videos. I went over to your website and I loved what you guys had there. I don't even get that many views at all. I mean, you don't need Logan Paul level of views or, or whatever. You don't need hundreds of thousands of views to build a business that makes a good chunk of change because of the fact that the ticket price for each client is very, very valuable. And if you can get 100 or 200 views on a video, 1% of those, 2% of those, if they click and book a call, there's an opportunity there to turn that into $24,000 a year in 
revenue from that one single client. So if you're just getting started with your agency and you're wondering how to do YouTube, first off, you're gonna have to be on camera. It's going to be difficult. I was, my first videos were terrible. I'm still not as good as I'd like to be with on camera with YouTube, but it's something I'm definitely going to be working at. But what you definitely need to do is get on camera. You're gonna be able to build trust and rapport and people are going to actually like you because of the fact that you're putting yourself out there. And it's just so much easier because how many agencies do you think somebody or a contractor or company goes and reaches out to or a business owner or whatever it is and they book a call or they fill out a form on the website or something like that and they have no idea what to expect. I want prospects to come to my agency and know what to expect, know that they're either going to communicate with me or I mean, eventually it might even be a, an employee of mine, but it's just so much easier because they already know who I am. They saw my YouTube video or they went to the website and they saw all kinds of other videos and blog posts and stuff like that and then they have a, I have a VSL that they probably watched before even booking the call because your prospects are already warmed up to the idea of who you are and what you're about. It's so much easier of a sale to close as opposed to cold outreach or even cold ads on Facebook. I tried doing that. The quality of the leads is in the intent and how much, like, they're very, very skeptical because they see this ad jumping out at them. Hey, we can make you more money with your business. And I, had, I think I had two or three starter sessions all of last year that were just complete disasters. And the first couple were with the old strategy session script that I'd used. And then of course those didn't go anywhere, but then the new one, that I've kind of been able to work on and refine from this fall, the strategy session was still terrible because the guy didn't even remember to show up for the call. And so I'm actually talking to him on the phone and the guy's on a job site and it was just a disaster. It was going nowhere. So in my opinion, organic traffic, yes, it takes a whole lot longer. Yes, you're not going to probably get a client tomorrow. If you stay consistent with it and don't do what I do, I didn't stay consistent. I'm still not consistent enough, but you stay consistent for three, six, nine, 12 months. You'd be shocked how many clients you could bring in because you're becoming an authority in the space and you are becoming the go-to agency especially if you have testimonial videos with the results that you've been able to help your clients achieve. And so that's what I'm working on doing with existing clients that I've had is getting more and more of those testimonials because it's just social proof and it just helps build the snowball and just gets bigger and bigger and starts rolling. And so that's YouTube in a nutshell. Another thing you can definitely do is target the keywords that are going to be like top search terms. So like one of the things that you could definitely do is target long tail keywords with your videos because that will also get probably indexed in the regular search results. And if people are scrolling through there, they'll search and they might click on the video. Or if they are watching YouTube and they search through, that may get promoted and might get promoted by YouTube as a watch this next video. And so there's just a lot of opportunity out there. I've been able to do it and it's helped me tremendously because, because I cannot stress how much better the conversation is when someone came through, watch my YouTube video, is actually interested in purchasing my services as opposed to having to convince them and basically fight and claw just to get the opportunity to be able to converse with them to, to try to sell them our service program. So that's not to say running ads is not going to work. If you have a big budget, you have sales staff, that sort of stuff, then that's fine to do it. I don't have that at this point in time. So the other way is organic traffic. And so that's my agency's website. I've done decently extensive work to it to show up for the keywords you want to show up for. And oftentimes I actually had a client, the one I closed yesterday came into the strategy session. I asked, Hey, how'd you find us? And he had said, Oh yeah, I went to Google just looking cause I had a previously worked with an agency. It was terrible. It didn't get any results. I get nothing from the website. It doesn't look good. And so I wanted someone in the industry. So I searched and you guys came up, another one came up and I sent in info through their form. I still have yet to hear back from them. And here I am on this call today with you. Then I ended up closing that guy on the call. He signed the agreement. A few minutes after the call, he paid, booked our kickoff call for tomorrow, I believe, tomorrow morning is when we're doing it and we're gonna get things started. So so it's just so much easier because the buyer intent is there. That's why even when I've had prospects come to a new strategy session and say, hey, do you do anything with social media? I say, no, because the buyer intent with Google search is so much higher than social media. It's the same principle here. If someone's actually seeking out my agency, they're already interested in our services, it's way easier to sell them than someone who's scrolling through social media, who's trying to look at whatever it is they're looking at on Instagram or on Facebook, and you have to convince them. That's the biggest reason why. The buyer intent is so much higher with a Google search or on YouTube where there's you can actually really have a nice warm audience that's more than willing to purchase your services. And so the third step of this process is to basically throw rocks at the people that have not yet booked a call. And so basically what I have is I have a couple different retargeting ads. I have two right now with the current testimonial videos that I have from existing clients that 
were able to f film a video and just basically say that, hey, we really helped them out. Here's how much they scaled, all that sort of stuff. And so I have video ads with that running with basically just excerpts of the quotes of what they had said in the video and then a little bit of detail saying, hey, when's it gonna be your turn? Or when are you gonna transform your business? Book a call below and it links to the page where they can go and book a call. And so the other one that I have is a, a long form kind of a storytelling type of ad. And it's something that I had worked on and I've it's seen, I mean, the, the cost per website schedule through that ad is almost four times cheaper than the video ads with the testimonials, which I thought is absolutely crazy, but it goes in, hits a lot of pain points and it's just very, very, very sales oriented. And it's just kind of telling a story. And it's something that works really, really, really well because we do some storytelling and future pacing and all kinds of good stuff like that to just get their mind really working. And then they click, they book a call and we bring them on board. So, so the retargeting budget is like $7 a day right now. It's, it's very, very, very cheap because of the fact that again, that we don't have a massive audience. We don't need a massive audience with an agency. It's not like we're doing an info product brand where you got to be spending 10 grand a day to earn back 15 or 20,000. That's one of the coolest things about this of having a smaller audience. Obviously if I was running a big ad budget, 20 grand a month or, or whatever it is, then I would have a whole lot more retargeting ad spend. I'd need to go into to make sure we're being shown to those people that come to the website and leave. But basically that's what I've been doing and it seems to work really well so far. Obviously I'm still kind of in startup mode and I'm just trying to build up as much as I can and start hiring. Hopefully in the next few months, we'll kind of see how things go and where things take us. But otherwise, yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing and how I basically 3 x my business in 76 days. Hope you guys like this type of content. If you have questions, comment below. I try to answer all the questions that come through. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram. It'll be in the first link in the description as well as the pinned comment down below this video. That is where I share a lot of content when I do not have time to make a video here for YouTube. And as I continue growing that, we're gonna do some Q and A's, that sort of cool stuff like that. So again, first link in the description as well as the pinned comment. If you're not subscribed, go down below, hit the subscribe, smash the bell for notifications so you know when all the newest content comes live here on my channel. And, and also be sure to drop a like if you like this video. Let me know your thoughts, comment all that down below, and we'll see you in the next video.